This video will cover a few tips, tricks, and common mistakes to look out for while tracing areas. This plan includes a wing that is not quite at a 45. My cursor is locked on a 45, so it's going to be really difficult for me to trace this area. So what you can do is go to the pencil and turn off snap angle, and that will allow you to drop a point anywhere. But it's kind of nice to maintain that 45 degree angle. So you can also go to layout, cursor angle, set cursor angle from line, click and drag along a line, And now when I open my draw cursor, you can see it's still locked on a 45 degree angle, but it's at that angle that I've set. So that's a handy way to do these um, odd angled wings of buildings. Then when you're done with the wing, you can go back to layout, cursor angle, and reset to zero, and that will turn it back into a regular cursor. For projects like this with large corridor sections, I find it's easier and more accurate to block out a corridor just as a rectangle. And then you can use the allow editing to pop in doorways. This is so that you get a consistent width across the hallway. If I go doorway to doorway and try to go in, then occasionally I'll get a little off on these walls. So I like to draw it out as a rectangle and then make whatever edits I need to make and drop in the doors with allow editing. One common mistake with allow editing that we see if sometimes is if you have a couple points that are dropped close together and you try to shift a wall, occasionally it can create basically a line to infinity and crash the program. So if you're using allow editing to move walls, just be cognizant of what you're doing and make sure you don't have too many points along that wall, which is going to make it really difficult. And it may cause the program to crash. So keep that in mind. Another tip or a common mistake is knowing when to use split and when to draw rooms inside of a room. So this is a good example here. We can trace around the edge. And then if I want to cut this area out, I'm just going to trace another room here. And make sure none is in that room. And if we place a material in here, we can see that it's not going to run that material under the central area that we've carved out. So I'm going to turn on color and turn on seams. However, if your area is touching the edge of the plan, so let's just move this over. Sometimes the system will not subtract that and it will run material underneath. So if the part of the plan that you're trying to cut out is touching the wall or the edge, you're gonna to wanna to use split to cut that out instead of just drawing an area on top of an area that's overlapped. So what you wanna look out for is this overlap. If it is overlapped, use split. If it's not overlapped, if it's in the middle, it's okay to just draw an area on top of another area. So those are just a few quick tips. I hope that that solves problems before you run into them. And if you have additional questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.